Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Cross watchers are welcome. Virgo, gang gang. It's Virgo season, bitches. Throw rose petals. <laughs> Thank you, my nerves. I hope you are doing well and taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay. Because I am. What time is it? It's like nine o'clock. Okay. Energy as of now. Obsessive lover. I had coffee on my shakes. Obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive karmic. There's a karmic in your energy. Um. You may still feel this toxic energy. And look what's on the bottom. Psycho, psycho killer. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. But seriously, you was like, I'm running from this. I'm getting the heck up out of here because I don't know what this is. How this person feels towards you? They feel like you are their divine masculine or divine feminine. And you like, no. You're the karmic. You're the karmic. You're the one that sabotages everything. Obstacles and blocks, spiritual gifts. So this person was this person's a spiritual hater. And they tried to block your spiritual gifts. <clears throat> Advice. Get away from this person. Move away from this person. Take a, a vacation. You know, um, replenish your spiritual energy, your social battery, GPS, and the outcome. Follow your spiritual GPS. You're dealing with somebody that's holding a grudge, 222 on the recorder. Let's get the tarot. Why is this person in your energy? You're like, so this karmic, they did their research on like twin flames and whatnot. So they're like, oh, you're my twin flame. Don't, don't, don't fall for this shit. They're gonna be like, oh, we can feel each other and you're my twin. That is a false twin. That is a false twin. These karmics always try to ruin something. All right. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, three thirty-three on over quarter. So you could have been dealing with a water sign or a Gemini. Yeah, it says soulmates on this card. Like this person, they're obsessed with you. They think that you are their soulmate. They're dangerous. Wait, you're dealing with a dangerous water sign. If you let this person come back. If you let this person come back. It's going to drain you. The death card and the empress. You left because you were like, I'm taking my power back. Give it back. You could be done with a Scorpio. You ran because you was like, I'm going to take my power back and I'm going to just, you know, focus on my spiritual awakening at 444 on the recorder. How's the person fell towards you? The chariot, they want to come towards you. Mm -mm. Ambition, direction, willpower. D determination. This person is determined. 
Do not let this person love bomb you, gaslight you, hoover you. Because I'm getting like a no contact situation. Like, somebody's watching you. They watching. But, Virg, I'm getting like, I'm hearing you say, well, that's the best thing I never had. Spiritual gifts. What's going on here? Three of Cups in the world. You close the cycle, okay? You close the cycle and it's time for you to celebrate. You're learning how to merge the Divine Masculine, 555 on the quarter. You're learning how to merge the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine within. People hate it. They don't understand you. They don't understand you for the simple fact that it's your frequency. You're on a higher frequency. You vibrate higher. Yeah, three of wands, clarifying travel. So you should move away, move in forward, new opportunities, take a chance. Take a chance on yourself. That's what I'm getting. The advice is to take a chance on yourself. Don't expect nobody else to do it. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. The Ace of Wands. Heck yeah, you're going to be so... You're going to be so successful, so great. Somebody was asking me the other day, should they move? This is your confirmation. Yes, you should move. 7-Eleven on the recorder. Oh, what this person thinking? Seven of Cups. Endless choices, opportunities, wishful thinking, searching for purpose. So, okay. Somebody is delusional. Like, this person is like, they feel like they own you or some shit. Virgo is not to be controlled or told what to do. Two of Wands and Outcome. Anticipation, overseas travel, decisions, and discovery. Somebody's keeping an eye out on you because they see you got mad opportunities. They see that every time you leave them or every time you leave a toxic connection, you glow up, you get better. For my skin. <laughs> you glow up. Hidden information. Opposing forces. Let's King Cups here. Shine. Your light irritates their demons. <laughs> Bro. Told you. Your vibration. Your light. Hustling, making it rain, focused on money, getting it. Yeah, you're focused on money. Clarifying the Empress and running. You're like, I'm running away from this mofo. Run, Forrest, run. This person, you feel like this person has played out and they saw it. You're focusing on your self-love. They salty. Salty balls. Psycho. This psycho may ask you to travel. No. I said no. Don't do it. Grudge holder and the outcome. 
This person's holding a grudge for whatever reason. Maybe because they tried to give you a dirty offer and you turned it down. Yeah, they just like, this person just want a sex fix. So if I was you, I wouldn't even do it. Don't entertain this person. Letting go. I let go of what no longer serves me to make space for new beginnings. You need to let go to make room for new things in your life, or you must let go to give someone else the space they need to grow. To grow. Let go because holding on is too painful. Ooh, you ain't never lie. 11, 11 on the recorder. The angels remind you letting go is not always easy but it is always worth it. It is, it's always worth it. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.